Uh, absolutely. I, well, I've been in this conference now for nine years, and uh, they get, the conference gets great players from all across the country when you look at all the different rosters. And then on top of that, they're extremely well coached. So you put those two together, and it's competitive week to week. And you, you know, the, the team that have the worst record in the conference can give the team that has the best record in the conference a great game on any weekend. So you better be ready to play in, in the CAA. Well, it's going to be difficult, and we certainly have to adapt our offense to, uh, to you know, to bring a new quarterback along. We have a couple guys, Scott Woodward, who's who's the uh, backup for the last four years with Liam, and then we brought in a kid named Kyle Havens from a junior college in California. Those two guys came out of spring session as as the top two candidates for the job, but the other two guys, Spencer Whipple and Octavius Hawkins, are also competing for the position. So it's going to be a great fall. We, you know, we're excited to get one of those guys in place and get them leading the, the show as soon as we can, so we can be ready to play Kansas State in the opener. But it's going to be an extremely difficult task to replace Liam Cohen, certainly. No, you know, I haven't. I've always. Been, I've been uh, just pleasantly surprised when they shut teams out, and it works great for me when I was on offense. And uh, but now I obviously have to take a, a huge role in, in in how that works and the defense, what schemes we're going to use, as well as the players that are involved. But our defensive line is certainly going to anchor us. We have a good group of seniors coming back there with Brandon Collier, who was an All League player, and uh, Michael Hansen, who's who's coming back from an injured year last year. He was banged up a little bit, and then we have uh, kid Anthony Monette coming back. It was a backup force, and Kyle Harrington. Who had a great year for us as an all uh, first or second team, I think, all league player for us last year. He'll be back to anchor the inside. So those four seniors with a good group of Bobby McLaughlin leading some underclassmen should really give us a good anchor for that defense. And so it's a great place to start when you got some guys up front that can that can solidify some things and play some good D. Well, you got to win some games to get into that group. Is the bottom line, and you get respect from your peers by, you know, playing competitively and bringing a, a team to the forefront that's going to, week in, week out, be very physical and competitive. And that's what we're going to do at UMass, and try to continue that. And that's how you make a name for yourself, and and then try to hang out with the big boys in the room over there. <laughs>